before you watch the video. Subscribe our channel. Click on the bell icon for notifications. Hi everybody, welcome to Agama. This is Rakesh and today here we are going to learn about progressions. So what progression is called? First of all, let us see here. A progression is a sequence of numbers in which they are arranged in a particular order. Which they are arranged in a particular order. Like uh, if you see uh, any uh, particular order in the sense like we can take the natural numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, so on is even this is also a progression they are arranged in a particular order right and if not i can take the even numbers like uh, uh, two uh, right two four uh, six eight ten so on even these are also progression that uh, have in a particular order or else uh, i can take the numbers like uh, for example three 8, 13, 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, so on. Even these are also said to be progressions. If not, we can take another order like uh, 2, uh, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Even these are also having a certain order if you observe that. If you look at the first order which I have written that they are like the difference is one in each and the next is difference is two the next sequence is having the difference two and here the difference is five and here each number is getting multiplied by two right so certain order which that's what these all are said to be the progressions so a progression is a sequence of a number so it is in a sequence of a number having certain order okay so do we have any different types of a progressions let us see that yes there are three types of a progressions one is arithmetic progression in short we read it as ap ap that is arithmetic progressions and the next is geometric progression in short we read it as gp and harmonic progression in short we read it as hp now my question is what is the use of learning these progressions in our real life like arithmetic progression or geometric progression or harmonic progression how do we use in our real life let us see the first one uh, i would like to take one of real life example uh, uh, let us see uh, if i would like to save the amount in in a bank like saving the amount saving the amount so when I would like to save the amount, like uh, in such a way I started saving uh, amount uh, in the first month. In the first month, the kids start, uh, I started like uh, saving the rupees 100. And in the second month, I just uh, saved, I increased my savings to rupees 130. Means in the first month, I started saving 100. In the second month, uh, now again, I just with 130 rupees in the second month it is 130 I increased my savings and again in the third month I increased my savings to 160 in the fourth month it would be can you guess what would be my savings in the fourth month yes you are right it is 190 that's good so in the same manner if i go on increasing so what would be my savings in the 25th month so to find my savings in the 25th month how many rupees it would be uh, like to know to know about uh, these type of things we need to learn about the progressions and here if i would like to list these numbers in order like 100 130 160 so on see if you observe that the difference between these two numbers is 30 and the difference between these two also 30 means uh, whenever if you see that means the amount is increased 30 rupees every month means 
दिस टाइप ऑफ ए प्रोग्रेशन दिस टाइप ऑफ ए सीक्वेंस इज से टू बी एर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन मीन्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द एनी टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स इज ऑलवेज कॉन्स्टेंट कॉन्स्टेंट मीन्स वॉट फिक्सड वैल्यू Let's take another real example for in our where we use in our real life. Okay? Yeah, when we go to the theater, we can see the arrangement of the seats uh, like how do they arrange the in the for example, they may are in the uh, the seats maybe in the like this. They arrange the seats in such an a certain order. If we observe that as they are coming to the closer like in the first row in the first row there are the number of seats like for example here in the first row there are 14 seats and in the second row there are like uh, 20 and in the third row it is 26 and in the fourth row it is 32 and in the next it would be like uh, 38 so on if you if there are more number of if there are more number of uh, rows you have so like like if you answer that uh, this is a first row this is the first row and this is a second row and this is the third row this is the fourth this is the fifth this is the sixth this is seven this is the eighth so on if there are 15 rows so how many seats we can see there in the 15th row how many seats there are in the 15th row means if you observe the numbers of number of seats arranged that they are like a 14 20 26 32 38 so on now you can see i just take these two consecutive numbers here the difference is 6 here i take these two difference it is 6 so here also the difference is 6 here also the difference is 6 means when you check the difference between any two consecutive numbers it always 6 you know that then this sequence is called what when there is a common difference in between two consecutive numbers such sequences or such progression is nothing but arithmetic progression arithmetic progression in short in short what we call in short we call it as ap so such sequence of numbers such progression of numbers are called arithmetic sequence or arithmetic progression let us have one more example now look at this this is a ladder what it is it's a ladder we know uh, we use ladders to Uh, move up to get the things which are at a higher than us uh, right so this is a ladder so now the, these are the bars where it will be take sub, support of this so, so here uh, the length of this first bar is 150 cm and this is 120 cm and this is 90 cm so on so what will be the length of this one at the top means this is the first bar This is second bar, and this is a third bar, and this is a fourth one, right? And this is a fifth, and this is a sixth, and this is a seventh. This is a eighth. So if there are more, or if the if you would like to find what is a eighth length of the eighth bar, means so the if arrangement of these bar also in the arithmetic progression, you can observe here that one fifty, one hundred twenty, ninety, so on. Right, yeah, one fifty minus thirty, one twenty minus thirty, ninety minus thirty, sixty minus thirty. So yeah, the difference is uh, taken as uh, minus thirty, right? So yeah, it is a constant difference. So even this is also called as arithmetic progression. So this is how we use in our real life about arithmetic progression. We apply arithmetic progression in such a way for these type of things. Even there are many other examples. but here i have collected just few examples now here this uh, these are the curves like uh, when i when i take a ball when i take a ball i hand it to hit to the ground here this is an example if you observe these curves these are these curves are nothing that imagine that this is a ball when i hit the ball onto the ground it was raised 
It was raised at a certain height. Obviously, when we hit the ball to the ground, it was raised at a certain height, and this height I have to, for example, it is 180 centimeters, and then it was slowly to 160 centimeters, and it is 140 centimeters, and then it is 120 centimeters, and here it is 100 centimeters, and slowly uh, we can, if, when in which minute, for example, this is a uh, first uh, two seconds and this is a fourth second and this is a sixth second so on so when it would becomes zero means when it would be on the ground after how many seconds the gap here it is two seconds so after how many seconds it would be a lie on the ground without uh, raising any more so to study that to understand that we have to know arithmetic progression if you observe here that 180 160 140 120 and 100 so on here also you can see that minus 180 minus 20 so i would get 60 and here also minus 20 so i would get for my 140 so here the difference is negative 20 whatever it may be the difference may be positive or negative that is the second thing but either we have the constant difference or not so when this arithmetic uh, when the progression is having certain constant difference in between two consecutive numbers certain uh, such sequence is called arithmetic progression arithmetic progression so this is how uh, children just i introduced what is arithmetic progression in the next class we will see and we will learn more about arithmetic progression this is only introduction that how do we use in our real life and where we apply still there are many other examples that we will see in our coming up classes and we will learn more about arithmetic progressions so if you have any more queries and doubts regarding not only arithmetic progression any topic you have regarding in maths so you can just give us a mail at askagamath at the rate of gmail.com thank you take care bye bye see you